Hello everyone, we will continue the topic PDF forms or Adobe forms. Now, so far what we did while designing the layout, if I will open the layout. So whenever you want to write a text, whenever you want to write a text, what we did? We simply created a, we simply inserted a text and we gave the particular label, sales order details, sales order number, header details, creation date. We hard coded the labels. We know when we cover the topic smart forms, we have text module also, we have include text also. They are reusable text. Suppose if we have text module or include text, those are reusable text. If you want to reuse in PDF forms, how we can reuse? And this is our topic. If we have a text module available or if we have a include text available, how we can reuse in our PDF forms now. So firstly, what we will do, I will create a text module and then we will see how to reuse in PDF form. Then we will create a include text and we will see how to reuse in our PDF forms. So we all know if we want to create a include text, if we want to create a text module, we can create through smart forms transaction code. So I'll go for smart forms transaction code. I will choose the radio button text module. I will give some name to the text module. Suppose I'm saying ZTM underscore sales underscore serial number. I'll click on to create button. System is slow. I'll just wait. We'll go to we'll go to this particular editor, text editor. Go to change editor. Suppose we are creating a text module for sales order details. So if we have so many PDF forms where this common label is there, we can use this particular text module. I will save this particular text module. I will save this. I will save this as a local object. Now we will see how to use this text module inside the PDF form or Adobe form. So this is our PDF form or Adobe form. So what you have to do, firstly, you can right click on the context of your Adobe form, create text. Now, what you can do, you can simply you can simply scroll down. Now here you are able to see the text type. Here you can see the text type, text module, include text, dynamic text. So we have a text module, so we will take text module. Here it is asking for text name. So we will give that text name. You can go to text name, click on to F for help. That is a good option. Always, always use F for help. I will give my text module name. The name of the text module is ZTM underscore sales underscore 78. I will pass that. I will select this. Now I will pass the language. Language you can use again F for help. We created in English language. So I will choose English language. 
and you can select the checkbox no error if no text exists. So what we did in the context of our Adobe form, we choose the text type as text module and we pass the name of our text module. You can save and activate the PDF form. Now we will go to layout. Now, previously we had coded sales order details. Now we will display the same to same thing using text module. So I'll just go to my first sub form where we have sales order details. Previously, we had coded sales order details. So I will delete this text so that we can use text module for the same. Now it is very, very easy. Simply what you can do, you can go to data view. We all know in that data view, data is there. This is your text module. Simply you can drag and drop into your sub form. Now, there is no need for this hard coded text. You can simply remove this. Now, I will simply save and close this. So what we did, we have a text module available. So we simply drag and drop the text module into that particular sub form and I will activate. We'll go for one more change. Firstly, I will show the output. I will run this PDF form. I will give the value. Now I will go for print preview. Now you can see this sales order details is now coming from your text module. But have you seen, we have the boundary is coming. If you do not want the boundary, what you can do, you can simply go to layout and we will see the object of this particular text. This is our text text module. Now we will go for the object of the text module. You can see we have a appearance property here and we do not want any box. So we will go for none. We will save. I will close this and we will activate our Adobe form. If I will run my Adobe form, I will give the input. I'll go for print preview. Now you can see this particular text is coming from text module. Previously, we had coded this particular text. Now we use the text module inside the Adobe form. Now, same way, we will go for include text. We all know that we can create a include text through SO10 transaction code. So I will go to SO10 transaction code. I will give some name to the include text. Suppose I am saying underscore header underscore serial number. I will click on to create. It will take some time to open. Now we are creating a include text through SO10 transaction code. And we all know it's a reusable text. We will create and we will now use in. After that, we will use in our Adobe form. I will go for go to change editor. Suppose for header details label, we will create a include text. I will save. Now I will go to my Adobe form. 
will go to our node of the Adobe form, context of our Adobe form, right click, create text. Now we are creating another text. This is our text one. We'll see. Now we will simply choose the text type as include text now. Now we will give the name of the text module. I told you we have to use the F for help. It will be easy. Now you can give the name of your include text, which you created. This is our include text. We'll simply go for OK. Select. And you can see all details automatically coming. Text ID ST automatically coming. Text language EN automatically coming. Text object text automatically coming. And this is our name of the include text. I will save this. That's why you have to use F for help so that all details come automatically. Now we will go to layout. Now we will display header details through include text. So this is our header details, header details. Now, rather than I'll just reset the palette locations. Previously, we hard coded the header details. Now we will not hard code, so I will delete this. We will go to data view. And we have a include text, text one. We'll simply drag and drop into our sub form. This is our sub form. I will remove this, the text one. And we will set the object, else boundary will come. So I'll just set the text appearance to none. We will save, we will close, and we will activate our Adobe form. Now, if I will run my Adobe form, if I will show the output to you, so you can see this header details is coming through include text. So if you have text module or include text available. This is the way you can use in your PDF form or Adobe forms. You have to create a particular text in the context of your Adobe form. You have to choose the particular text type means it is text module or include text. You can simply drag and drop from the data view to that particular sub form you can change the appearance to none and it will display your text module and include text. These are reusable text and by this way we can use into Adobe form or PDF form. So that's it in this video. Thank you.